know if it'll be that quick and easy, but we will see. Shanghai Dragons versus the Guangzhou Charge. Yeah, we've seen some elated teams and some dejected ones. But we've also seen Mike Krong instead, who's got less peeling power behind him with a lesser DPS of the Widow and the Genji. Develop going back to the spot that he popped off at the start, finishes off Fleta now 20% in accruing. Develop just can't be stopped. And even Lee Jae Gong is going to get the swift backhand of the law. 3k for Develop. And now Shanghai have to work against the Nano Blade Choice. Here. One can use it at any time, but actually, the Nano are not even expended by Star from Farway. It was just to beat out Cooldowns Lemon, and now it's in the back pocket for Krong. If it's needed, Farway can use this at any time, and Void can't even touch. 100 to 0 against a team that many considered far. A few more percentage away. Overtime starts. The Charger are fighting back, and Develop has gotten to two piece after using his Bob near the objective. Now it's not going to contest, and the Dragons. About to close the door on this round. Krong's moved in on the Doomfish, trying to chase down Lee Jae Gon here, and yes, it is going to translate into a kill. And look at that, Void is slept as well, but I think it might be a little bit too little and too late here, Lemon. Krong is low on health, they do now have an Anna at their back. That is just to preserve his life, especially during that bio grenade as Fleta gets punched <laughs> off the map. The recall wasn't available. Now the Dragons, they've dealt with Krong though. Numbers looking equal. Izayaki, Nano to Void, who's charged up and ready to go, has a grab, can throw it at the choke, and Charge are just going at, going towards the boy, but they're getting stuffed. They're not able to. Lips Bob is the ultimate bodyguard, and finally Dragons force a round three. We're going to make a decision of, do you want to sleep the Bob? And once that one is out, Shanghai Dragons can engage a lot more aggressively. Easy Yaki is down. Dragons in trouble. Does Lee Jae Gong even have the space to resurrect? The answer is no, he's dead too. Dragons have no supports, and Guangzhou Charge are starting to close the gap in the score with a four on two for the charge who are doing the ultimate zero to a hundred comeback and develop just can't be stopped like he was on widow on ruins as he continues to do on ash on this map but the dragons they never give up and they can't it's the final round of Elios. but the charge have only netted themselves kills and dragons are left behind and away from the objective and choice a one will end this all and the charge will be taken map one and charge here, they put so much faith into here, here to try and make a disengagement a couple blinks away. The payload is shifting and it's going to be flat oh, with the Nano who recontests. The Nano Tracer. Oh, and the whiff on the wall. It's okay. And the blink into the wall. Sometimes you get a little hyped up when the Nano Juice comes in. The charge also invests the blade. Not satisfied with the amount of kills they've gotten so far. And what a clear fight win from the charge. Are okay and they are not okay. Fate is in the back line. He has primal. I'm panicking. Lip has visor to wall so far and charge. They get to reset. As develop sees Izayaki lands on a body shot, but not enough to deliver as Fleta with revenge. Dragons with two picks and support ultimate to spare. The charge are left in the dust to the point where you're nano and unique, and you don't need the sustain if you're the charge. You need the kills, and they were so there somewhere. He wants to use the blade. All right, good luck, buddy. The spacing is tough, but it might be finishable. No, Lip with a headshot. How does he do it? Mad stuff here as Farway is going to fall down as well. But he is barely alive. He needs the attention of Farway, who is maybe more helping Rio through his primal rage. Unique has been left to live as a bionic grenade from Izayaki is choice in one in Rio, but the damage has already been done from the charge. The dragons are sent back at 30 seconds. Should we say one? Oh, God. Okay, finally someone touched. They waited until the last second. The supports are cut down, and the charge! I can't believe this! A mediocre push at best, but to keep the former champions at bay is incredible. But you're not out of the woods yet. You gotta deal with fate. Never underestimate what fate can do, especially with Fleta by his side. The dash cuts through the tracer, and fate is left to stall. Izayaki will be back with Nano, but he's just barely in line of sight of fate. And it unleashes, but it's too late! The charge take a second map and go to series. Oh, good. Meanwhile, uh, you're seeing the dragons just get some car push but now that charge know that they have someone in the back and they've split the dragon's attention they've been able to contest the cart but who are you has been nanoed far away is in front of the cart and crow was trying to protect him as charge were moving up to protect choice in one but have made a mistake sometimes you have to choose who your favorite child is and choice in one you should have left him to die he was just way out of line 
Being on the Ash here is finally getting to interface with the... Oh, that's a huge stick. Never mind. It doesn't wow. matter. Both for supports are dead. Choice here. One is a cold-blooded murderer. No heals allowed. Dragons had some free push, and they're trying to contest the cart, but Lip is just paving the red carpet for this cart to finally push, and the defense are kind of forgetting about the cart. There's even some people alive, and Krog's not able to trade the back line, so Dragons will be capping B. Krog is taking too much pressure while the supports of the charge have been occupied, and who are you? It's going ham! The Dragons only have seconds remaining, but the job is done. Who are you is just there to finish it, the 3K! Who are you? I know very damn well. The dragons will cap. Can you prevent that last and final tick? They just bulldoze their way through the door as Krong starts to try and laser the back line, but forgot about his back. Fate almost claimed to kill on the Krong. He's not in a good position either. Fate deters his attention towards the supports. And now Unique is the only one to salvage this attack. And there's no shot you can, especially without develop. And the dragons has salvaged this coin. Far, they're really just not out of the woods yet. As soon as that Bob from Develop's gone, guess who's back? It's Dragons, but guess who's back with the brand new Dragons? Choice of one with the blade gets immediately shut down, along with my rap career, obviously. And the charge ain't going anywhere fast either. You know what, Lemon? I'd buy your mixtape. Thanks, thanks, pal. Well, Develop has already used Wraith and might have wanted to save that for when he's in trouble, just like that. He TPs up, gets headshot by Lip, and now the Dragons have the number advantage, they have the sound barrier advantage, and Charge are just waiting for their impending doom of just really unable to push through this underpass. And Dragons, after this now, will be able to start climbing back in the series. The reality there, Lemon, is that Guangzhou Charge were kind of- Nano visor online, and sometimes you might even nano before the visor is ready. As the Dragons are generating their own ultimates, Lip receives the nano before the attack visor is ready. Develop the same case, but it's Lip that shines brighter. The attack visor finally unleashes from Lip after that kill, and the sleep from far away, the drive-by, are you kidding me? That's impressive, but it ultimately ends up still being a Dragon's Fight win, as now the lead gets even bigger to keep it up. He's gonna dive. Develop his back. He has the visor. He's over on the right side. He's getting primed by fate as he turns to deal with Lip, but Lip gives him the backhand of the law. Now you have to sell. I mean, every ultimate is coming out of the dragons. They. It's really important for them to win this fight. He wants the blade or develop might want to strike back as a plan B, but he gets pulsed. Go to plan C. 911. Charge. You have 18 seconds and you got to pull this off 4v5, but at least you trade with Lip. You make the numbers equal. Choice A1 stands tall when Charge needed him to the most. If you can stagger fate, that's even better. But on, it's up to the two on one against Choice A1 to clear this for the Dragons. Overtime will step away, but Charge get back in time. It's up to Lip to finish this for once and for all, but it's Flitta that gets the kills, and it's the Dragons that force the game five. Super annoying. There's so much to track on the side of Guangzhou Charge. They're going to be very hard pressed to get any early picks. Oh, Lip's in the back. Backline is so is fate. The sound barrier from Lijagon keeps them involved. They lose easy Yaki. But as long as they get the trades, Dragon should be okay. But Krong was charged up and he got Nano, so he's lasering everyone in sight. But who saw that coming? I sure didn't. Almost gave me a jump scare. Fate does scare me. So is this Maywall from Who Are You? Traps Krong resets his energy. Coming out ahead so far. Krong moves forward with the grab. Multiple people caught within the mortars just tear them asunder. Krong still has the energy, and who are you has no friends to help him. Eventually, the point. I don't think anyone else from the charge are coming back. The echo from Choice in One touches one last time, and at 99%, the Dragons finishing off what they started with a round one win. Lip ready for a nano visor here, especially Ooh, after the flight, moment. it's easy. That's great, as soon as you see the Mercy in a site where she can't hide, the visor cuts them both down. The Moth without the wings, and Choice A1 is gone too. It's a full reset for the charge. As the rest of the charge to get back, they cannot lose this fight. Dragons are on round point, and Lip has a visor. He's already killed three, and if you stagger far away, there's no shot. The Dragons at 99%, overtime about to go away, and the reverse sweep has occurred. The Shanghai Dragons have turned it around.
You can get a lot done, Lemon, in 10 minutes if you're a world champion with a world-class coach. What a turnaround from the Shanghai Dragons. Though now, both of their wins thus far in this season have been in five-map series, and so overall, they still have a negative map balance.